And we are back for another match in the Really Trivia Showdown. Once again, I am the champion, Matt the Master Thomas, and I'm joined by potential number one competitor, depending on how his match goes this Friday, Chris, the personality Anthony Lopez, the personality himself. How you doing, bud? I'm all right, my man. I'm eagerly anticipating my match uh, against two guys I know very well, so especially in this game. So we're, we're going to have a good time. But that's on Friday. We got Jen and Allie right now. Yeah, two rookies, new new competitors, because we're all rookies technically. We got two new competitors joining in. It's going to be a good old time, a grand old time. And, yeah, I'm I'm really excited, my man. Like, wow. It's it's – yes, I'm dropping all uh, biasness this match because – it's sure yeah it's it's one of those things that you got to do because you know it's circumstance circumstance exactly something something that we have to do yeah yeah but without further ado let's get this thing started introducing first we have the one and the only princess herself the princess Jennifer Marie Serino. Hello. So, I was disappointed that in the live that I couldn't do my official crowning, but Amazon delivered. Oh. Oh. We have royalty here at the Really Trivia <laughs> Showdown. We Turns do. out we do. So, how, how about that? How you feeling going into this match, Jen? Well, my nerves are a little shaken up, but I think I can do, I can pull what I can. So, we'll see. All right, all right, all right. Bet, bet. I'm looking forward to this. this what are you fun. most excited I didn't know about? I'm seeing it crying right now. <laughs> um, I'm excited to see what the wheel has in store for me. Yeah, Will has proven to take down many a competitor, so I, I don't blame you at all. <laughs> Nearly took me down in the championship. I'll say that much. Yeah, it it but it's close. It, it is close. It, it's close. <laughs> and then it, it went in my favor. So hey. But no, we are going to uh we are going to drop you real quick and bring you in. Or bring in your opponent. Brain so, fart. You got a little brain yeah, fart. A little brain fart. All right. Introducing second, we have the Swift One, the Assassin herself, Allie Swift. Let's bring her on in. Allie, how you doing? Oh, it's that. Sorry, guys. I just I just got to finish taking care of some business. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Are you okay? <laughs> They don't call me the assassin for nothing. Oh God, I don't. I think I. You no, scared Matt, now? Yeah, just, yeah. Just, just a little bit. No. I'm fine. Yeah, you should be. You should be. And because joining... I'm not just coming. I'm not just coming to 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 uh, de de crown the princess. I'm I'm coming for everybody. Oh. Oh. Well, oh. Well, shit. Okay. All right. Well, can someone control her, please? Yeah, we're gonna bring the man who can hopefully help keep her in check. In the underdog. Well, well, well. Oh God! Ooh. Would you look at that? Are we having a, a man, wedding here? A man who has success dressing for success. I am the greatest manager that we have of this thing right now. I might be the only one, but let's face it: a one and zero record going into this match, and a two and zero record coming out. Let's face it. Oh, big words coming from the underdog, Nick Mulbach. Are, are you sure you're not represent. posing over stream? I represent <laughs> champions. And this is going to be one right here. Oh, yeah. You see my karate hand and my katana? Another thing that Nick brings is competitors that like to draw their own name cards at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. But uh, let's bring Jen back in. Yeah, we're going to just so we can bring back have our Jen. competitors on the screen together. The 
princess and the assassin. Guys, are you ready to participate? Yes. I'm uh, so ready. Let's get them uh, general rules for me. Disembodied voice. General rules. Competitors will be given three repeats per match. Competitors will be given one challenge per match. If they use their challenge and win the subsequent ruling, they get to keep their challenge to use again. If they use the subsequent ruling, they lose their challenge for the rest of the match. And let's and have that were, voice do the round one questions as it is. Round, round one and rules. Round one rules. Wow, a lot of brain farts tonight. Round one official rules. Eight questions in random categories are given to all competitors. Competitors have 15 seconds to write their answer down. Answers must be said aloud when revealing response, and all questions are worth one point. A perfect round triggers a one-point bonus question. All righty then. Jenny, are you ready? As I'll ever be. Assassin, are you ready? Oh, I dropped my whiteboard. I'm ready. <laughs> Fantastic. Then let's get ready to showdown. Round one. Get your things ready, whatever you're writing on. Boards I'll off the floor, guys. Boards yep. off the floor. All right. Well, Chris, I'll start off and we'll go every other one, just as always. Please. All right. Round one, question one in the YA adaptations. In Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl, what does Greg make for Rachel that he gives to her before she dies? Is this a spoiler? I know the title says The Dying Girl, but... It's I mean, the title's a spoiler. A little, bit. a little bit. Yeah, I mean, technically, just a tad, I guess, by definition. But it's, it's a movie that's like seven years old now, so... That hey. too. And then Spoiler five. warning. Four, three, two, one. Allie, what do you got? Uh, I've never seen it, so I just said a letter. Incorrect. Jenny, what do you got? I can't remember a book. Incorrect. We're looking for a movie. A movie that he made her. He made a movie in a movie. Yeah. yeah. All it's right. I mean, it's a Highly recommend it. The book's good, too. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Chris. Question number two in round number one is in the category of Cohen Brothers. The Brothers Cohen. And your question is who plays Hobby Doyle? Hobie. Hobie Doyle. Excuse me. Hobie Doyle in Hail Caesar. Who plays Hobie Doyle in Hail Caesar? Damn. Can't talk today. It's the Coen brothers make me flustered. It's a category that just gets me flustered. That's what, uh, that's, uh, I, I, I think that's a strength of myself, but I'm, I'm trying to yeah. save that. Yeah. Coen brothers, you know, just makes you feel some type of way. That's five, four, three, two, one Hobie Doyle Princess. What is the answer? I threw out Christopher Nolan. <laughs> that is incorrect. It's not Christopher Nolan. And Ali, the assassin. Mine is George Clooney. Not a bad guess. Uh, I mean, he, he, he was a lead in one of his other movies, so he was a lead. Uh, he was in that also in Hail But the correct answer is Alden Ehrenreich, a young um, Han Solo himself. That yeah, movie's how he got the role. Solo. All right. Um, Dollar Store Cate Solo. Yeah. Category number three in the world of Oscar films. What 2016 film won the Academy Award for Best Hair and Makeup in 2017? Oh, wait, you just said in 2016. No, what 2016 film won the award in 2017? Because the award ceremony is in February. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's um, you know. It's tricky. We're just throwing years around. I mean, best hair and makeup, really important category. It actually means yep. a lot to a movie. Yep. Some of us may know about that more than others. And in five, four, three, two, one. Assassin, what do you got? Two side squad. That is correct. And we have our first player on the board, Princess. What Two do you got? Squad. Suicide squad. That is correct. <laughs> All right. Don't just we love the Suicide Squad here. I, it's a guilty pleasure film. It should have been Star Trek, though, even though I don't like Star Trek. Yes, it should have been. I, I cannot agree with you more. Question number four in the category of Vin Diesel films. Vin oh, Diesel. What was the first film in the Chronicles of Riddick franchise? 
What was the first movie in that franchise? What was the title of it? Vin Diesel. Surprising leading man in many a franchise. Yes. You know, I do love his work, especially in uh, The Iron Giant. Yes. Love The Iron Giant. Even though Groot. he barely speaks. And Groot, another one. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, and Princess. Hit me with it. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, ben, that's I the totally incorrect answer <laughs> on Ali. Ben Hur LMAO. <laughs> it's not Ben Hur. The correct answer is Pitch Black. Pitch Black. <laughs> it's the first film in the Chronicles of Riddick franchise. Question five, Matt, please. All right. Question five in the category of horror thriller Who throws the first rock in the Rock War of 2017's? You know, for a guy that doesn't like horror movies, I, I love, love it. that first it. Yeah. That first it's, it's so a masterpiece, good. man. Oh. The second one, though. A little too long for my taste. Way too long. Uh, it's it's so enough, taking it's too long. Disappointing. Five. And... One. And let's go. Assassin, what do you got? Bang. Finn? That is incorrect. For, is there a kid in there named Finn? The Finn actor's Finn, Finn, Finn Wolfhard yeah, is, but not Finn the Finn character. Yeah, Finn Wolfhard. Dang it. Oh. All right. What do, you, what do you got? I'm drawing a blank on their names. I just wrote the girl. That is incorrect. The answer we're looking for is Ben, the little chubby kid. Yes. Yeah, that becomes yeah. hot in the second one, which is yeah. crazy. They always you know, do. We, we love a glow up, right? Yep. Question number six. In your first round, is in the category of Marvel films, not to be confused with the MCU. Marvel films. Okay. Who who plays Doctor Otto Octavius's wife in Spider Man Two? Who plays his wife in Spider Man Two? There are a lot of deep cuts in this. It seems like deep cuts in a great movie. God, yeah. I love Spider Man Two. Who doesn't love Spider Man Two? Jen, because she's never seen question. it. Oh my god, with the Spider-Verse poster behind her. Now, we Spider-Man 2, it's one of the best superhero movies of all time. Yes, it is. And then five. Fantastic. Four, three, two, one. Princess. Speaking of Jen, let's go Jen. Throwing it out there. Margot Robbie. That is incorrect. Unfortunately. Drawn the blank on Ali's side. The answer it's is been years Donna since Murphy. I've seen that. Donna, Donna Murphy, Murphy plays Dr. Otto's wife. Question seven, Matt. That's on you, Chris. Oh, no, it is me. What am I, I saying? Just said six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the category of cult classics, who plays Deckard in 19 Blade Runner? 1982's Blade Runner. Not to be confused with Blade Runner 2049. We want the original. Blade Runner's just, it's one of those films, you think that it would have been super popular at the time. It just wasn't. Especially, and it's it tanked financially. Yeah. It's it's absolutely nuts. And then five, four, three, two, one. Allie, what do you got? That is correct for a point. Please verbalize the answer. Yeah, oh, verbalize. yeah, sorry. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. We'll take it. Jen. Harrison Ford. Hey, Love two to two. Look at that. Right. Fantastic. All right. And, and your eighth and final eight. question. And round number one, your eighth question is in the category of mixed bag. It could be anything. It's back a mystery. What studio released 1991's The Rocketeer? Just need the studio name. Who released The Rocketeer? All right. Is this a, this is a superhero film? Technically, yes. You could argue it might have been this studio. Film. Yeah, you could argue it might have been this studio's first superhero film. But we'll see. And in five, yeah, four, three, two, one. Princess. Fox. That is incorrect. It's not Fox. It's incorrect. Uh, I put Paramount. That is incorrect. No. We're looking for Disney. 
Disney, oh. the mouse himself, dropped the Rocketeer 91. One of the yes. first, if not the first superhero film, by definition. Oh. All right. Matt, can I get a score recap, please? Two to two. We're still tied up going into this next round. So let's bring up and those round two rules. We answered the same questions, too. Yes. <laughs> round two official rules. Each competitor spins the category wheel. Can re can respin the wheel once unless wheel lands on opponent's choice. Competitor will get four questions from chosen category. Questions are worth two points or one point if multiple choice is chosen. Opponents may steal if competitor gives incorrect answer. All right, so we're gonna thank you, disembodied voice. Yes, we're gonna drop Jenny right here and bring Nick in. Uh, because I don't need Al my board, right? No, no you, you don't need your board. Uh, Nick. Allie, was, because of her film knowledge, was technically the favorite going into this match. So we're going to drop Jenny and bring Nick in so, we, no offense, so no. they can uh, no, none taken. So they can talk strategy. All right. Hi, so you, you have the look so handsome. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I represent winners. So you have the opportunity to go first or go second. The pressure could be on Jen if she goes first and has, and you have the ability to kind of just crawl back from there. Or you could go first if you're really feeling it. It's up to you. What would you do in my situation? I would probably have Jen go first, set the tone, and then you can figure it out from there. Then I will let Jen go first. All um, right. Because I do Jen not want to get wi Wizarding World. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. I, I mean, Jen, ready to spin Jen the wheel? Be, you'll be spinning first. Yes. All right, go ahead and spin that wheel, Jen. We got four questions in the category that Jen decides. And remember, if you don't like the first one, you get a second spin, but you have to keep the second spin. Yes. Please keep that in mind. Opponent's choice. Oh, Ooh, God. Oh, okay. Allie gets to pick what Jen goes with. And Matt, she, can you tell Jenny Allie her can, choices just in case you can't see? Yes. Yep. Your choices are sports, Star Wars, Pixar, Nick Cage, Box Office Bomb, 1980s, and Wizarding World, and comedy. I will go with Nick Cage, Alex Trebek. All right. Well, I'm oh, with Nick, Nick Cage. Cage. Uh, hold on. We had Nick asked to come back. So what's? Well, I thought that I was able to confer with her. Yeah, you that, can. But... You can. Oh, I if would have you... said sports. Sports zones with Nick Cage is fine. Go for it. Right. Nick Cage is fine, according to the underdog. All right, and just you know, you'll just go. For you'll at, go ahead and ask any of those. Yeah, let me go ahead and take these Nicholas Cage questions. We get four questions, and remember, you have multiple choice if you do not know it off the top of your dome. All right, are you ready? You ready, Jen? Yes. Yes. All right. Question number one in the category of Nicholas Cage: Where is the treasure map located in National Treasure? Multiple choice. <laughs> Fantastic. Your multiple choice options are A, on the original American flag B, on the Star Spangled Banner poem C, on the Declaration of Independence D, the Library of Congress uh, C, the Declaration of Independence You are correct. It is on the back of the Declaration of the Independence of all the independences. Your second question in the category of Nicolas Cage what 2009 animated film does Nicolas Cage lend his voice to? Multiple choice. And your multiple choice questions are A, The Croods, B, The Ant Bully, C, G-Force, and D, Astro Boy. Astro Boy? That is correct for another one point. Good job, Jen. Your third question in the category of Nicolas Cage. What famous actor trades faces with Nick Cage in Face Off? Multiple choice. Your options are A, Brad Pitt, B, Ryan Reynolds, C, Nick Nolte, or D, John Travolta? Uh, John Travolta? That is John correct. Travolta is correct. <laughs> we'll take a good John Travolta. You go three for three, multiple choice so far. Going into your fourth and final question in your second round. What weapon 
will you find a Nicolas Cage carrying around the streets of Chicago in The Weatherman? Multiple choice. And your multiple choice question or options are A, an AK-47, B, a sword, C, a knife, or D, a bow and arrow. I feel like he's a swordsman. That is Unfortunately, incorrect. that is incorrect. So, Allie, uh, I'm going to repeat the options for you one then time. you have a chance to steal. It's A, an AK-47, B, a sword, C, a knife, or D, a bow and arrow. For the I'll go with the AK-47. Unfortunately, it's not the AK-47. It is a bow and arrow that we see Nicolas Cage wielding in The Weatherman. So, Matt, give me a score update before we go to Allie's round two, please. Five to two. Jenny did a good job of working around with that multiple choice. So let's bring Nick back in and drop Jenny. Nicholas Cage could go anywhere. I was, uh, yeah. All right. Well, we'll spin. We're going to be good. All right. Spin that wheel for the one time. Four questions. You know, we're only down three. Very doable. Very doable. Extremely doable. Die. Let's see what we spin so far. Uh, and free, she gets a free respin because it landed We're on doing, Nick Cage. We already got Nick Cage. Lisa Spence yep. is killing me. <laughs> Ooh, I'm nervous. While I got you, Allie, what are some categories that you would like to see? Um, the one she's landing on. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Like Star Wars? <laughs> oh, the wheel. Oh, the wheel. The wheel can make stick, or break this whole stick game. Stick with it. Let's let's do it. All right. Let's well, do will, some Star Wars. I will read the Star Wars questions. All right. Uh, I should be here. Jennifer should. Yes, yes Jen right. should definitely be here. Thank you, Thank Nick. You. All right. In 2008, Star Wars The Clone Wars, the child of what character is kidnapped? Multiple choice. Your options are A, Palpatine, B, Jabba, C, Watto, or D, Bail Organa? A, Palpatine? That is incorrect, Jennifer, for the steal. Jabba. You're, that is correct. Oh. Okay. I've never, seen the never seen that. <laughs> you're not missing you much. The worst Star yeah. Wars movie ever? All right. Clone War? Yeah, you're not missing much. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, All right. I know. Question number two in the world of Star Wars. Oh, shit. My headset just got on. Point. <laughs> editing break. Yeah, no, no <laughs> editing break needed. Who plays Boba Fett in Return of the Jedi? Um, multiple choice. Is it A, Tamara Morrison, B, Jeremy Bullock, C, D, Bradley Baker, or D, Daniel Logan? Jeremy Bullock? That is correct for one point. All right. Question number three, World of Star Wars. What Lord of the Ring act Lord of the Rings actor plays Beaumont in The Rise of Skywalker? Multiple choice. Is it A Dominic Monaghan? Billy Boyd, C, Elijah Wood, or D, Sean Astin? I'll go with Elijah Wood. That is incorrect, Jennifer, for the steal. Billy Your Boyd. options. You said what? Billy Boyd. That is incorrect, although it was his partner in that film. We're looking for Dominic Monaghan. All right, Allie, your last question in the world of Star Wars. How many films does Luke Skywalker appear in? I'll give you a little bit longer to answer this question. And in five, four... Uh, multiple choice. Your options are A, four, B, six, 
C7 or D8? Seven. That is correct for one point. And that brings us to a score of six to four with Jennifer in the lead going into round number three. So let's bring up those round three official rules. Round three official rules. Competitors will pick three numbers that will correspond to three random categories between one and 20. Each competitor gets three questions. Questions are worth two, three, and five points. No stealing or multiple choice this round. All right, we'll bring in Nick so he can talk to his competitor. All right, I got all the faith in the world in you. You pick three numbers that mean enough to you that you think that you're going to get this right. You got this. All right, Jen. So you're in the lead, so you pick your questions first. All right. So Jen... Can you please give us your three numbers between 1 and 20? Let's do 5, 8, and 10. 5, 8, and 10. Allie, same thing, but size 5, Um, 8, and 10. I'll do 2, 13, and 6. Fantastic. All right. Matt, will you issue Allie Allie's question? question yes, no problem. All right, Allie, your first question is in the category of Quentin Tarantino films. What 1990 film, 1994 film starring Woody Harrelson did, did Tarantino write but not direct? And you still have, your, both of you still have your three repeats. And then five, four, three, uh, two, one. I have one. no idea. Natural Born Killers. Natural Born Killers. And we're going to give you your three-point question as well. All right. Matt, can you give her number 13? Yes. Number 13 is in the realm of Disney films. And what Disney film... What animated Disney film will you find the voice talents of Michael J. Fox, Phil Phil Morris, and Leonard Nimoy? Uh, Go ahead and repeat. In what animated Disney film will you find the voice talents of Michael J. Fox, Phil Morris, and Leonard Nimoy? Is it five, four, three? Oh man, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's one. like, and that's it. You have to answer your five point question to stay. The correct answer in the- was Atlantis. Yes, Atlantis, the lost empire. You have to answer your five point question to stay in this match. Or else Jennifer Serino, the princess, wins with a TKO. So, you chose question six, which corresponds with Adam Sandler films. Oh, God. In Mr. (laughs) Deeds, what town is Longfellow Deeds from? You have two repeats left. Yeah, you can repeat. (laughs) In Mr. Deeds, what town is Longfellow Deeds from? And in five. Los Angeles. (laughs) That is incorrect, and you're a winner. Moving on to face, if I remember correctly, the yes, moving on to face the loser of Jordan and Taylor. We have Jennifer the Princess Serino. We're gonna drop Jen right here. We're gonna talk to Allie and bring in her manager too. Allie, how you feeling? I feel all right. Hey, hey. She came in, she competed, she did great. 
She's amazing. She'll come oh. back with a vengeance and she will do great the next time. Thank you. Admittedly, I, I there were the some toughies. Way. There were some yes. tough questions throughout that, especially in your third round. Was there any was there any doubt with your with your second round and getting uh, Disney films? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know too much about Disney films and, and animated films. Um, and, uh, you know, when it when it comes to, you know, I, I was stumped on the, the Quentin Tarantino film because, you know, Matt said he, he wrote it but didn't direct it. And I was like, dang, I, I, I didn't know that one either. But, you know, we'll, 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 we're, we're, like Nick said, we're going to come back strong next time. And That's right. I'm still coming for you guys. And in that second oh, yeah. round, you you pulled Star Wars, which I mean, it got a reaction out of the whole room because apparently, like I see the Princess Leia b- behind you, like was the was the uh, to her left also. Was there was there some hesitation with Star Wars that you feel super comfortable? Is that a category you picked? I'm curious. Uh, yeah, I did pick that category because um, normally, you know, I know a lot of extensive Star Wars stuff um, when it comes to like the original uh, trilogy and and uh, the prequel trilogy but when it comes to like the animated stuff and you know the 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 newer sequel trilogy i don't really know the extensive knowledge gotcha. behind it so i'm just it, it stumped me so <laughs> and what nick can after I say? and nick after watching um Ali's performance is there anything that you might have to change going forward cuz i mean you you've done you've done a decent job so far with with Lou and Ali's performance today like, it's just the questions that got the best to her. Nothing I got to change so far. Uh, we're going to have a, a long talk about Stinky the Hut, one of my favorite uh, Star Wars characters of all time. Um, but no, she kicked ass. She'll continue to kick ass. And I can't wait to see her in her next match. Now, her next match is actually against Tom. Tommy Bling himself. How you feeling going Tommy into F. that? Tommy Bling. Oh, I'm excited. I, I don't know Tom very well, but... Um... I uh, I think it'll be I think it'll be really fun. I I'm I'm a little nervous because uh, I think he knows a lot about uh, film if I'm if I'm uh, correct. But yeah, but you wouldn't have guessed based off of his performance last week. Yeah, but but we'll see we'll see. So so um, I mean I'm I'm excited to to go up against somebody new like like Tom. So we shall see what happens. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Well, we're just stay in the backstage for a minute, you two. We're going to drop you and bring in the princess herself, Jennifer Serino. Hello. Jen, how you doing? Congrats. I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I thought in round one when I got the young adult question wrong that it was going to go down to shit because, you know, I watch, <laughs> read <laughs> I read all the young adult books and then I watch the movies right after I finish them. And so I watched... I watched and read Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, and I forgot that he made movies for a hot second. So I thought it was all going to go to shit. And then I was scared about Nick Cage. Don't watch a lot of Nick Cage movies. The only thing I know about Nick Cage is that he found the treasure map behind the Declaration of Independence. I'm so I'm glad to be here. So that was that, a lot of you didn't have to answer. Did and you didn't even have to answer a third round question, which I mean. No. TKO makes TKO. everyone feel a little bit better. And Matt, who's she gonna who's she gonna face next? She we plays know? the loser of Jordan the Prodigy Stinson and the Encourager. Oh, well, fantastic. Yeah, just a little bit. Apparently, um, he made an appearance on on the well, live stream for a preview special, and he, you know, he's he's just he's all right now. But I'm curious into your thoughts on. Uh, on Jordan and Taylor, are you familiar with them? Have you seen the the prior stuff that the man formerly known as the Rager has done? I'm curious. I've seen what the Rager's done. Um, I don't know too much about Jordan, but a lot of us. I don't. feel like if if the the Encourager now uh, wins, I gotta study up. If I face him, I gotta study up on the um, horror and thriller stuff. So, is there someone you'd rather face out of the two of them? Nah. It doesn't matter. Oh, that's great. I love the confidence. It doesn't matter. Who cares as long as they come and try to attempt to take on the princess? Well, congratulations, yeah. Jen. 
Thank Congratulations you. on the hard fought win. You got a category in the second round you weren't necessarily familiar with, and you kicked its ass. So good stuff. And I can't wait to see your next match against the Prodigy or the Encourager. We'll see what happens next. Let's bring back Ali and Nick right here. People, hey, from a, strate- from a strategy standpoint, next time let's bring the manager in before we say the opponent's choice question. Oh no, we uh, gave you the chance. We gave you the chance to confer afterwards. Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't. I didn't think that that was. All right. Hey, hey. Next time we'll figure it out. Uh, we're suspecting foul play, just a little bit. No. Uh, no. Well. well, we'll, we'll uh, talk about that. Use of this whole. We'll he's, he's I know. Hey, we'll, we'll have to chat. Yeah, but no, um, guys, thank you for coming on. Remember, buy the merch. We have our merch in Teespring. Go ahead and buy that beautiful, beautiful stuff. I mean, my God, links right there. Teespring.com/store/what-real-entertainment. Hopefully, we will have some of our new competitors stuff yes, in the soon. New competitors is, is stuff is on now. It is on now. Go ahead and look at it. Go check it out. Get your assassin merch, where she probably has the most badass logo in the league right now. Not even gonna lie. Probably, Get the yeah. princess merch. And yeah, just have a good time. And also remember to like, follow, and subscribe. And you can do all of those right here at our YouTube channel, our Facebook, our Twitch, and our Twitter. And just go ahead and listen along on iTunes, Spotify, and SoundCloud to all of the fantastic shows we have. Our highlights channel, what highlights? Uh, Yes, on our highlights channel, what highlights. But yeah, go ahead and check all that out. Signing off, I'm Matt. That's Chris. That's Jen. That's Nick, and that's Allie. And this was another Who Are They Real?